My name is Steve. Welcome to my shop. This is part two of my entry into Emma's Spare Room Machine Shop Tool Making Contest. Uh, in this contest I'm building a quick change tool post for my Atlas 6 inch uh, lathe. I'm also going to be building the tool holders for it. In the first section I roughed out the block. In part number two, I'm going to be boring the center of it and fitting it to the uh, components that will activate the plungers to hold the tool post in place. I thought that I'd be able to get this done in the whole video done in three parts. However, when I started putting it together, I realized that I had much too much to do to try and squeeze it into three and I wanted to keep the uh, individual videos a little bit shorter. So part three of the video is actually going to be making a new eccentric for the inside of the tool holder that uh, activates the plungers and a new spindle that it mounts on. Originally I was going to use the original uh, aluminum pieces however it soon became apparent to me that I really to do this whole project justice I needed to redo them in steel so I'm replacing them in steel I'm redesigning them a little bit making it a little beefier so that it'll be a little bit more uh, rigid I'd also like to take this opportunity to thank all my new subscribers uh, thanks to a little push from Emma uh, I hit the 100 subscriber mark today. I know it's not much compared to the million that Jimmy Darista hit today or the 100,000 that Adam Booth got a couple of weeks ago. However, 100 is great for me and I'm working on 200 now. So there again, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching. On with the video. Okay, the next thing I have to do is to bore out the center of the uh, the holder for the eccentric that uh, locks the tool holders in place. These little pistons are pushed out by this eccentric there's a bushing in the middle of it that centers in the bottom. So the first thing in the order of operations, I'll bore, I'll drill out the hole and ream it for that. And then I'll bore it out to, uh, this is one inch. I just checked it with the, uh, with the gauge. Checked it with a micrometer to and it is right at one inch. So I'll use uh, probably go drill it out to about seven eighths and then bore it to the final. The uh, diameter of the shaft, the bush, the adapter that goes inside the eccentric is actually undersized a little bit and it measures uh, 0.985. So there's quite a bit of um, clearance there. I think I'm going to make it a little tighter than that. It's quite a bit of slop in that, which is probably where some of my movement comes from. So I'm going to uh, go a little bit undersized and sneak up on it and actually uh, do it to fit. Okay, I've got that now within one thousandths, 
apparently my center is not exactly round because I got zero there I've got zero there I got a half uh, every time I do it it's a little bit different I'm, I'm within a thousandth on it so I'm gonna let it go and start to drill start with a quarter inch spotting drill going to drill all the way through with a quarter inch drill Go to uh, three eighths. This block is an inch and a half thick, and I got an inch and a quarter of travel on the quill. So. Fortunately, because there's already a hole through it, it's clearing the, the chips now, and it's not binding up like the uh, like the smaller drill did. Got it. The final size for the through hole is a little bit of an oddball size. Unfortunately, the, uh, I have a letter drill, 413 thousandths, which should be just about right. In fact, I'm going to, before I completely go through it, I'm going to double check it. This is the piece that's got to fit in that hole and that goes that's just about perfect. That's very good. So I'll go ahead and finish the through hole. started boring I went in and flattened off the bottom at an inch and a quarter. Now I'm taking about 20 thousandths each cut. I have to go out to 0 .983. Um, I want to finish at about 984. The piece is getting pretty hot so once I get out to uh, 983 I'm going to stop and let it cool off and then I'll come in and do a finishing pass.
almost out to 900. Once I get within 20 thousandths or so, then I'll use the uh, telescoping bore gauge to uh, mic it up a little bit closer. to go. I just, it's pretty hot, so I'm going to take the three, do a string pass, and then let it cool down. I think I'm going to be, probably have to take another thousand or so out of it at that point. pretty good okay the parts fit great now I'm just going to uh, let it cool down and make sure it doesn't bind up on it the next thing that I have to do is mark it off to bore these holes and they are halfway in the, these are in the middle here and they're in the middle here so it calculated it out it comes out to seven hundred and seventy five thousandths for this from the reference surface and seven seventy five now from the top this is an inch and a half so my uh, my dimension is 750 I'll flip it over and see if how close I am the same spot so now I'm going to set it up and uh, get ready to drill in the milling machine Okay, the pins measure 442, which is not a standard size. And the hole measures 464. So there's a, it's 20 thousandths clearance there. And they've got a little o-ring on them that that holds them in place so I'm going to uh, I'm going to drill it out with a 29 64ths drill which is 453 and then try it out see how that works and if I have to open it up a little bit more I'll have to use a, uh, a boring bar I uh, put my center finder in the chuck uh, taken eyeball it in
going to use my stubby spot drill. It's a quarter inch to start the hole. Decided to just leave it in there to drill the pilot hole. Now I'm putting in my 29 64ths. Fortunately, I've got a relatively stubby drill here. like that might do it. Well, after getting it all deburred and I honed the, the holes out a little bit and it works perfect. I put it on the, uh, the lathe and it works just great. Now I'm going to put a black and finish on the, uh, on the body and it's time to start working on the tool holders.